Have you ever enjoyed Scratch as a kid? You know, that website where you could make games with literal blocks? Well, I used to program on that platform religiously, so when I heard that there was a plugin that basically turns Roblox into Scratch, I was immediately yeah. interested. Like, could you really make a semi-decent Roblox game with just blocks? Well, that's what I'm going to try to do today. Okay, so, um, well, I'm in the default base plate. I think I have an idea for this game. I'm just gonna be making it simple. So it might just be like a sword fighting game with like power-ups or stuff. Anyway, the first thing I do is I guess I build the lobby for the whole entire map, so. All right, so I have my basic lobby set up right now. I think the first thing I wanna do in this game is I wanna make sure I set up the GUI correctly for like the status symbol at the top or like near the bottom like that shows you oh intermission how many seconds left blah 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 which I think shouldn't be a big problem but let's see okay now to actually code the status thing to work I will have to start using block code so um oh all right wow this is actually quite a clean um layout i have to admit like every single thing is in a list here there's also a bunch of stuff you can do i mean that's pretty cool all right so the first thing we got to do inside this like script is we got to change um a value that's gonna have everything that has to do with the like the status and that will show up on the actual uh actual gui so what we have to do is we have to have like a loop so let's see here oh loop while oh what why isn't it why isn't it a dragon what oh, okay there you go all right so while where's this true thing while true do this is gonna run all of our uh, all our main logic, so... While the truth is just gonna be looping... Uh... Wait? Where's the wait? Bro, this is so confusing already, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait... Oh... Alright, it's in. Wait, let's say... Three seconds. After you wait for three seconds, oh yeah, first we gotta uh, we gotta initialize what the status value is. That status value is gonna be um, 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 um. man. How do you do stuff in this? This is so confusing. Oh my goodness. How do you like like if I wanna set this to this over here? I I don't know how to do that. That's like so many blocks that aren't making any sense right now. To th oh yeah, all right. This script, this script dot status. Find first child. Where's um, where's find? What's this? Find, find, find. Oh oh oh, hold up. S status. No, no, that doesn't work. I need a string. Yes, yes. Okay, there you go. Surely that's right. Okay, all right. Let's check if this works by um, printing what's in the status value every three seconds. So, oh, debug print status value status value dot value 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 value. Where's this value? Yes. What? <laughs> Wait. I don't get this, man. Oh, hold up now. I didn't even realize you can actually search what you want here. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. I think this is it. All right. Have to get the property or oh, status value. And this property is going to be value. Okay, okay. All right. Surely this works this time. Oh, it's actually printing it. What the hell? And what? If I, um, if I go over here and I change the value to like, hello. Does it work? Yippee! As you can see now, 
everything's looking good, and I can change the status and it'll show up on the screen. Nice! Okay, um, I have to say, I take back most of the stuff I said about block code earlier. All of my troubles were just like attributed to the fact that I was new to block code and didn't really know what to do, but now I'm really getting the hang of the layout and stuff. What I do have to say though is this is not very beginner friendly. You need to have some knowledge of like coding from Roblox to do this. And like the most annoying part is you see this block in scratch, you can just slide it in here, but you can't do that. You have to take everything out, put it in and then slide everything in. Also, <laughs> It takes quite a long time to program stuff, as you can tell here. <coughs> but I've um done a bit of work since then, you know, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little, you know, just a just a tiny tiny bit, you know, just a bit of just a bit of off streaming work. <coughs> Anyways, in all seriousness, um, after what was quite a few hours of very excruciating block coding. I finally finished the system, there's just a few things that I have to finish before this game is ready to be released. One of which is actually making these power-ups inside the map work, like for example this one heals you 50 health, this one increases your max health by 200 and um, yeah after that that should be all good to test out and finally release to my friends to try out. So when I meant I got the hang of block coding, I think I actually really did. Like for example, I'm trying to code this power up right now. All I have to do is add a script, open it up, convert. And look, it even has like pre-built stuff with some useful like mechanics to it. For example, this one has a delay in the touch, which is really, really good. And then you can set the cooldown by setting the number as I'll do here. And literally like this, it's all done. Like, let me test it out right now. Oh, no, I'm hurt. Oh, okay, if I encounter this, oh, my health is back. Let's go. Yeah, and then, oh, we still need to code this one. Anyways, after all of this block coding, this is what I have right now. An entire mountain of code for round management. A bit for actually saving the data of the winds. One for playing music. And a lot, lot more outside of that. Okay, I finally think that this game is ready to test now. I'm gonna open up a server and see if my friends can tell that this was made by block code. Yo, hi. Oh, Look, I got the 200 health. Dude, that's just gonna heal you, man. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing, bro? Oh, that's, what? A, that's tough luck. How did you beat me? That's How tough luck. <laughs> that's tough luck. How did you beat me? What the shit? Okay, hold on. Wait for the next map. Oh, okay, all right. This one's gonna be more fair for you. Wait, not if I get the hey, big power up. Oh, help! Help! Oh damn! Bro, don't do this to me. Oh shit. Bro, you got the the, the big bo- OH! Ow! Oh, how do you play this game? How do you play this game? How did I beat you, bro? You literally got the power up. Bro, you're so bad at this game, it's actually insane. How do you play? What do you do? You just- you just- you literally, you just- Okay, you try it. Try killing me. It's not that hard. You, oh, like, you just did it, okay? one tap. Legit. It's not a one tap. tap. Okay, it's not a one tap if you get, like, the power ups. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold up. Oh! Ah! Oh, you Hold up. No, I, I healed what? myself. I healed- No! How did you beat me that time? Too easy. Too oh, you're easy. hacking. You're hacking. Hold up. Hold up. Let me beat you next one. Oh, you, you, you haven't healed yet. What the heck? That's the bug. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, for real though, you should totally touch that red ball in the corner. Come. Don't kill me. Touch the red ball in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, buddy.
anyways, um, yeah, that's the full game made with block code. So to answer the original question, it is possible to make a game with block code. A half decent one? Eh, I don't know. But I really appreciate how the creator of this block code plugin has really put in the effort to make Roblox coding easier for everybody. It's a really well made plugin that can have some improvements, but I think it's really well done where it is right now. Anyways, um, if you really want to play this game, it's in the description, even though there's going to be like 10,000 bugs on it. Yeah, don't expect to play a full game. And don't forget to subscribe and like. And um, yeah. Bye. Bye.